detect calling. You're up. On my way. Control, we've received the call over. Hello, and welcome to today's episode of The Upload. We're talking about the optic and how it's changed our lives. Negative. No now, as you remember, Bloom announced a new version of the Optic at the recent Tome Conference, but we haven't heard too much about that since due to the dramatic events there. Let's go. We are inbound. Stand by. You just have the small implant that sends signals to your optic nerve and lets you see your emails take call. We're on their tail. Browse the Over. internet directly as if the screen was in front of your eyes. Immobilizing the suspect. Phone, you've just got the small handheld So much lighter and so much more convenient. It's great. Vicky, you sound like you absolutely love the optic. Do you actually think that it's made our lives any better? I mean, sure. It's definitely made things a lot easier. It's so simple Control, to we are now. unsighted of suspects. Over. Choose who you want to chat to, and they're there, ready to talk. And browsing the web is so much easier. I remember when you used to sit down at a computer. I'm here. What's next? There doesn't seem to be any obvious peril, does there? Have a seat, and I'll ping back the IP, sending us the distress signal. Excuse me. Flip phone? Am I meant to find this amusing? It's a cryptophone. It's secure. Every device on CTOS can be compromised. If we're overheard, we're dead. Both of us. Who the hell is this? Not important. What matters is that I have inside information on SIRS, and I believe the people who framed you are rogue officers. And loath as I am to say it, dead sec may be my only hope to stop them. We'll hear you out, but I'm not making any promises. Good. I hit coordinates to a meeting place on a device in that establishment. Sabine, what do you make of all this? All right, that's a wrinkle. So this SARS bloke says Zero Day are a bunch of Secret Service dickheads. I mean, I suppose it does make sense. The bombings were too sophisticated for randos, but SARS could pull it off. Officially, SIRS, or the Signals Intelligence Response Service, uses surveillance data drawn from CTOS to identify large-scale terrorist and criminal threats. Then they send Albion to shoot the threats in the face. For example, and in the wake of escalating violence in London, the SIRS is extending the right to use lethal force to law enforcement and Albion securities. Unofficially, SIRS uses your data to read your mind and arrest you for having naughty thoughts. So we have means and opportunity, which leaves motive. SARS are fascist pricks, but they're supposed to stop groups like Zero Day from doing terrorist shite. Why cause one? When you meet this guy, ask. like it's been around forever but it's really quite a, a new invention were you an early adopter 
I was one of the first that was in this market. There seemed to be a new way of financial transactions, a new way of money. It's something that we could completely reinvent and change some of the legacy financial systems around the world and really give power back to the people. Yeah, it was a real shift in the way that the world works. And let's recap the basics. So central to cryptocurrency is the distributed ledger technology, the tech that keeps track of all transactions. And what this means is you can have a decentralized system without having to trust any one party, like old-fashioned banks. One of the reasons why I got involved so early was that you could stay anonymous. Yeah, the features of cryptocurrency very much fit into that early mindset. It was all about finding an alternative to centralized systems. It was kind of a We have a complication. He's not here, and evidence suggests, well, violence. SIRS may be on to him. If you get access to the area's surveillance infrastructure, I can rebuild the scene in AR. I'll get it done. Done it. Now return to the scene and I'll reconstruct what happened to our contact. data reconstruction in. That appears to be our contact. Jesus Christ. Yes, it certainly doesn't look like his best day, does it? Analyze the clues in the AR workspace to find out what happened to him. This is a non-lethal weapon, so odds are he's still alive, though he may not want to be. SIRS contact away, but they may still be nearby. I can reconstruct the vehicle's path from unsecured CCTV recordings. That should allow you to follow it.
cyclists. They're also lying. Do not be believe your doctor saying, sorry, we're fresh out of that. You're going to have to eat a carrot for a day. Uh, do not believe your own cobweb written medicine cabinet at home. You might look empty, but it's not. For it contains the only medicine any of us truly need. Stirring music, please, producer Chris. Freedom. The medicine of British freedom and the analgesic knowledge that, however ill you may be, we'll be keeping an eye on things for you. I'm investing heavily in the placebo effect right now. You're listening to the bar. Obviously, I don't entirely mean that, because what is the first rule of the third millennium? If someone in power tells you something is fake news, what is it? Correct. A 110% cast iron, tungsten coated, granite scented, cosmically immutable, scientifically unarguable. Cheers. Should I get used to this being chased by an angry group of arseholes? Until you lose them, yes. You'll get used to Bagley's help. We are pursuing the suspect. There's our suspect. Potentially fatal. Would you not look around at the night we were going to think? Hey, Doc, put the life saving treatment down. I'm going to take this free one way bus out of here. Now hold that. The reconstruction's nearly finished, and so's our contact if you don't hurry. Think of it as a series of healthy lifestyle swaps. Swap out in anti-inflammatories for acid. Swap out the iron lung for the aluminium lung. Swap out in iron machines for merry machines. It's just as the lady called Mary telling you you're fine. <laughs> Obviously, critical shortages are as much part of our daily lives, our society and our culture today as things like uh, football. Don't control them, we're going to pursue. Used to be Over. in the old days. And the food it looks like our contact assailants stopped here, but I can't see them nearby. Let's analyze the data to see if we can find out where they went. Return into HQ. Search terminated. CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. Our contact assailants are switching vehicles to elude pursuers, which is standard operating procedure for private military perks like Albion. Albion? I thought they'd be sirs. What can I tell you? They're mercenaries. If you keep looking, you might find out why they're interested in an SRS whistleblower. I've completed a thorough analysis of the vehicle and concluded it is a van. That is true, but would you care to expand on your findings? Well, I could also mention that the minute traces of sand in the tire tracks indicate that it's been on a construction site recently. But you know me, hate to sound like a smart ass. I've been scanning nearby construction yards for Albion activity and, long story short, some dozy git has forgotten to turn off the security camera in the makeshift torture room. Show me. and we don't find out what he knows, I won't sleep properly for a year. Bagley, I need a location. The city operating system that's now powering all of London. For those of you who need reminding, as if anyone does at this point, Stop right there! Uh. Search complete. Hold 
position. What was that? It's okay, it's okay. I'm with dead sec. You called us? Of course. You shouldn't have come here. Now they'll know for sure I've betrayed them. Didn't we just save your life? No, you've just damned us both. Look, um, I'll upload the intelligence onto an anonymous FTP. They'll explain everything. Actually, I'd rather you explain everything. My name is Richard Malik. I'm an intelligence analyst. I believe Zero Day are rogue SIRS officers who framed you for the bombings to seize power. Now they're murdering or blackmailing anyone who threatens them, which now somehow includes me. Interesting. I'll see what Bagley makes of it. I better not regret this. That I can't promise.
Derek has made his way out, and now I suggest you do the same. Many variables here. We should check his intel before we make a decision. All right, one second. Bags, check that intel quick time, yeah? Then we can get everyone together. Look, just to be on the safe side, I think we should walk away from this. No way. He needs our help. May I present the third option? Just use him. An SRS whistleblower, even one you don't trust, could still help us find the arsehole that blew up half of London and framed DedSec for it. You don't have to invite him to your birthday, just use his information. Hmm, good idea. Fine. to fight let's do it For an authoritarian voice to come in and say, no way, we are the truth. So the ground for this environment really got created when we had uh, suddenly authoritarian politicians everywhere. Anything that threatened them or they disagreed with, they would call it disinformation. That's disinformation, that's fake news. And again, we got in a situation where nobody really believed anything. And the trouble is, if you were telling the truth, it's very hard to get your message to cut through all of the noise of all of the disinformation upstairs. So like, you know, you remember out on the edges, there was this story about when they would take a house by force, they would take any infants and they would crucify them. And that's a great, fantastic, viral story. How do you counter that story with the truth? The only way you can counter it is by saying, no, they didn't. And of course, no one wants to spread that story. No one wants to hear that story. They want to hear the sensationalism. They want to hear how people were victims of violence when in fact they weren't. 
were they were victims of insurgent forces when in fact they weren't. The news isn't neutral, it's a battleground. Here's media researcher and academic Al Gates. I'm here. Are you ready to begin? Here's the gist. Malik's intelligence checks out. A rogue faction of SRS officers framed DedSec for the bombings to consolidate power over the government. But now they've noticed that some people are standing up to the new order, and they're blaming you. I believe these are the people you call Zero Day. I don't know their names, but it's safe to assume they have a ringleader. And in my experience overseas, removing the leader... I get it. Cut off the head, and the body dies. But why now? Two weeks ago, a shell company connected with Zero Day's operations imported 40 kilos of Semtex from an old Soviet bloc depot. But it never left London. Which means Zero Day is planning a bombing that will make those earlier bombings look like a bonfire. And I think I know why. As we're all now painfully aware, false flag attacks are a common propaganda tool for despots. Kill a load of people and the rest fall into line behind whoever says they won't let it happen again. In this case, Zero Day. Which means we both want to discover who's pulling Zero Day strings and stop them. We need to get hold of the personnel dossiers of anyone connected with the earlier bombings and their cover-up. Then Malik and I can analyze their common connections and work out who's in charge of Zero Day. And I'll be on the comm to observe. So if Malik's right, Zero Day are some kind of shadowy cabal of spies who blew up half the city to secretly take control of the government. But now they're pissed off that someone's standing up to them, so they're going to do it again. That's awful. I agree. You'd think they'd come up with something besides another bombing. Bit of a double beat, isn't it? The vultures were busy picking apart London's carcass, but after what we've done, they've noticed us. Their plan works, we'll be to blame. Cut that victim-blaming shit. I'd rather get blown up a thousand times than lie down just so some wannabe tyrants can stamp on my face. Jackson is doing. Calm down.
This isn't a bad time, but we need your particular skill set for something. Ready to go. Totalitarian countries have typically used huge mainstream media outlets to sell one kind of news, one kind of biased news to its population. Of course, the media has always played this kind of key role in, in methods of state control. Um, I think what's happening now is perhaps even more concerning where uh, you previously been pre-crisis Britain, we had perhaps more diverse voices in the media, but now with the GBB, uh, you're really only seeing one brand of, of news and therefore only getting one truth. So people end up with uh, a very biased and controlled idea of the reality. Of course, many concerns and many problems, but in a way there were some positive things that like, not all information was coming from one place. And, and so you'd, you'd have kind of far-right media outlets developing and then left-wing media outlets developing to combat those and, and kind of challenge the, the mainstream newspapers, TV stations, radios, and make sure people were, were questioning their... their the validity and, and truth of the information they were receiving. So whilst there was the digital afforded more more fake information, you also misses... I am here. You're stealing Sir's personnel dossiers. The organization is strictly compartmentalized, so they aren't stored in one central location. So we spy on the spies. Clever. What is the plan? Sirs uses a supercomputer called Filament to process information drawn from the CTOS network. It's like Noodle, if you could use it to search every document on every civilian, government or commercial device everywhere in the United Kingdom. Instantly. Fuck! You can be horrified if you want, but it saved thousands of lives. Get access to a Filament terminal and I'll provide you with the search terms. Pig. What an asshole! Can you please just calm down? This is not the answer. Come on now. Lousy Did I do something? To you? Did you have your brain no, fucking flat? Replaced with a bot? How, How is it being a PMC fuck? No. You pisshead! Tech is such bollocks.
So this is filament. Impressive. I can help you break in, but we're going to leave a trail, unless, of course, Malik has an idea. There. I persuaded Filament Security to log that Spiderbot's activity as system maintenance. For a SARS agent, you're being quite open with us. It's not like the movies. Spies aren't the police. I believe in working with the lesser evils, like DeadSec, to protect society from the greater ones. So why did Zero Day kill all my friends? There are differing schools of thought.
Dossiers acquired. Leaving mission area. Brilliant work. New hire. have the personnel files. Right, so we do a simple CTOS contact analysis and work out who's in charge of Zero Day. I'll have it done before you can say Guantanamo. I'll handle the classified data, thank you very much. It would be so much faster if I worked with you in order to do this. The people in these dossiers are connected, but not necessarily complicit. It will take intelligence expertise to separate the wheat from the chaff. And when I discover something actionable, I will contact you. He's disconnected. Pleasant fella. I have Malik for you. Connect him. We have to meet. There's been a complication. I can't access the files you stole. Excuse me? The files are locked, and a moment after we got them, I received this. Hello, Richard. We see you're trying to find us by looking into our associates. That's a good idea. Hope you don't mind if we borrow it. Who was your masked savior, we wonder? I've sent Bagley the coordinates for a meeting. I hope I don't need to explain why this is a priority. Good. I found a potential recruit for you. Drop in a pin on your map. 